You know, I'm actually a fan of DreamWorks animated movies, so I'm gonna try to make this review as least biased as I can. So the movie we're doing today is Home. So the premise for Home is basically Captain Simek, the leader of the Boo alien race, has taken over planet Earth, moved all the humans to another continent, and basically inhabit their new home. So the main storyline goes, a young girl named Tip meets a fellow Boo, and they're both kind of like outcasts, and so that's kind of what joins them together, and you know, la di da You know they're gonna have differences, and they're gonna try to work together and help each other out in their own differences. You, you've, you've probably seen this story before. But overall, it's one of those movies where it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. We have Tip, your 7th grade kind of outcast, who she has trouble fitting in in a new, in a new environment. Um, but uh, uh, I actually, I honestly don't know if I can relate to this character all that much. I mean... Uh, she's played. She's played by Rihanna, and I. Um, again, I'm not sure if it was just Rihanna's voice acting, but I just couldn't relate to this character as much as I really wanted to. You know. Now the other character is oh, played by Jim Parsons. He was a uh, alien boove, and he's he's actually uh, pretty charming. He's probably the one I related to most. He doesn't fit in. He's always making mistakes. That that never downs his spirit. I mean, sure, occasionally, but I mean that probably goes with his alien demeanor. One more character, Captain Speck, by, played by the incredible Steve Martin. Boy, was he the most cartoony one. <laughs> he's, 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 he's a lot of fun. How can you ever get mad at Steve Martin? The characters actually uh, follow closely to how they're portrayed in the book, The True Meaning of Smack Day, and um, I think that they did a pretty good job uh, portraying each character. So a few morals you might pick up from this movie is uh, the meaning of Friendship and not running away from your problems. It's low key. It's not like in your face. Like you need to learn this lesson, kids. Yeah, the lesson actually kind of hit home pretty, pretty nicely. In terms of violence, there's nothing actually too violent. I mean, there's a few like hitting scenes. Uh, not much in terms of. It's, it's not not too raunchy. I'm just saying. It's it's fun. There are no bad words. Thank goodness. Uh, DreamWorks has come a long way. There's a little toilet humor. <laughs> Literally. I don't think anyone really ever farts in the movie. There's nothing too scary. I mean, there's one character that might be a little freaky, but, I mean, honestly, it's... It, I, I heard no babies crying. So basically, if you have low tolerance for movies and approving movies for your kids, this this is one that you could probably let them go into. So I give the overall approval level for this movie an AA. All approved. So before I get to the overall rating, let me give you reasons to go see this movie. If you're a family, you know, with children, and you want to go watch this movie for your kids, um... This is a fun movie for the kids, you know, they'll be laughing, and there's actually a lot of fun humor for the adults, too. I've heard many adults get tickled inside, which made me laugh, too, because it's like, oh, it's so awesome just seeing adults have their, you know, yeah, their inner child is still there. It's not unbearable. Another good reason to go see this movie is if you're hanging out with, you know, with your friends, you know, especially if you're around, like, the uh, preteen teenager uh, age, um, it's my, this is a movie that you could actually walk out of and have a few laughs and talks about. Uh, just don't expect much. It's nothing completely spectacular. It, it actually would make a better TV series. Um, just, just because there's so many gimmicks, you know, it, it, involved with the alien world and human objects and stuff. But overall, I'd probably give it a 5.5 .5 out of 10. Which isn't that bad. I'd go see it again. Then again, I'm very biased when it comes to DreamWorks movies. Thank you for spending time out of your day for watching my video.